um, classes, Zoom classes there at CFX. He did a class last year and he's doing a class this year. I'm excited to have him back because I tell you what, there is no mask out there that I would rather have at our haunt than a CFX mask. So, Josh. Hey, everybody. <laughs> there he is. I'm, I'm not the big eyeball that, like, on my intro screen, like, what it looks like. I actually, I have a real head, two eyeballs. I was disappointed. No, just kidding. <laughs> Don't worry. A lot of people are. <laughs> Well, I'm going to leave you two alone. I'm going to get out of the way, and uh, we're going to let you talk about your class coming up. Josh, it was great seeing you. I can't wait to see you here in two weeks. We'll see you soon. Josh, my friends, good to see you again. Steve, how you doing, buddy? Oh, doing great, doing great. Um, CFX, I mean, my word, what what can you say about CFX? I mean, it's the be-all, end-all of mass companies, and it's not even just – the excellent work that you guys put into the masks and the creativities and stuff like that. You guys really care about the usage of your masks in, in people's attraction. Like you really want to know if it's working. You really want to know if it's being taken care of properly. You really are very, very vested into every product you sell. And I, I just want to know like, wh where does that come from? Where does that care into your product come from? That's a, that's a great question. We actually take a lot of pride in this. We are, we're all haunters. CFX was created uh, back in 2006, starting at the 13th gate here in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Uh, it was right when the gate was really expanding and growing into a bigger time frame. Uh, they had far more actors to get into makeup than, than they would ever actually have time for. So the Silicon Mask was kind of created from that area. Um, being that haunt owner, um, and I started buying silicone masks from CFX back in 2007, 2008, incorporated them into my attraction. Um, I encountered a lot of pushback when I first started using silicone masks because of their, you know, it's an investment. There's, there's no lie about them. They're, they're not inexpensive masks. Uh, you are going to invest in them. But we discovered very quickly that that investment was made up very quickly by having artists quite so much, by having you know, very consistent characters at your haunted house that you can kind of brand your haunt after. Um, and we're haunters. And so we want to make sure that you're getting full use out of the mask. Now, I want to go back three years ago when you taught your first class with us about maintaining silicone masks. I had so much feedback from people that I met just through traveling and emails and messages and things like that about people were just, their minds were blown that, wait, you mean you're supposed to take care of these things? <laughs> like exactly. it, it was crazy. Um, yeah. I don't want to like beat a dead horse, but uh, maybe you can reiterate how important that is. So silicone has a shelf life of 20 years. It's not like latex where it's going to decay after a while. So if you do take care of your mask, there's no reason why your silicone mask shouldn't last you 20 years. That's your haunt use. Um, I currently, well, my, I, I'm currently not running a haunt, but when I do run a haunt, I use up to 16 of them a night at my attraction. Um, and I still have a bunch of those masks that I, I put up on display. Um, key to getting your money's worth out of a silicone mask. You're on the webpage right there, and you can see, you know, our average price starts at about $600. It goes up from there almost as high as you can imagine, depending on what kind of custom you wanted a custom sculpt and other things like that. But yeah, so. We understand, especially small haunts, that investing that type of money into a mask, is a, it, that's a big ask. And so I want to make sure that if you are going to invest that type of money, whether it be with CFX or whether it be with any of the other silicone mask companies, uh, there's no rivalry between all the mask companies just to kind of make it clear out there. I want to make sure that you are getting your money's worth out of that mask. And that's kind of the class that you're teaching is is how to utilize your mask in your haunted attraction, how to make the biggest bang for your buck, get a return on your investment, if you will. So I'm, what are some I'm going to go I'm I'm gonna go over that and maybe I might be jumping ahead. You know, go ahead and ask your question because I might be jumping ahead of you real quick. <laughs> no, you're fine. Uh what are some of the uh advantages to having silicone masks, say over makeup? Because there's a lot of fantastic makeup artists out there, and they do incredible, incredible things. Um, but what are some of the advantages to having silicone masks um, 
over a 100% just makeup uh, attraction. And so a lot of this is stuff that I will go over in the class a little bit more in detail, but just to cover it very lightly. It's the consistency of a character. So you, you can pick one of our, you know, as, as you're looking on there, Jack Frost silicone mask on there. You could, a wide range of actors could wear that same mask and be that character. If you have call outs that are sick on a certain night, but that is an iconic character, it's not a big deal. You're not going to have people getting that same look. The other thing is if you have a new shoot early in the morning or you have uh, an on-site appearance that you have to make somewhere, you normally have to pay a makeup artist to put all that makeup on at 6 o'clock in the morning or you know even earlier for a lot of newscasts. Instead, you can go ahead and throw a mask on, get an awesome-looking character, and have that character be in and out of costume in 10 to 15 minutes. <clears throat> So that's that's kind of where I was I was hoping you, you you would get with was just it's basically ease of use. You you have a a character ready to go at any moment at any time. Exactly, and, and it's there, always look the same. And while yeah, while there are there's amazing assortment of makeup artists that are out there, but there are a lot of places you know here in Baton Rouge, there are makeup artists. You know, some of the larger haunts eat up all the makeup artists. So if you're a smaller haunt, you may not have access to the best makeup. And this can make your haunt stand out at a different level. Um, so that way you can kind of compete with big ways, as they say, um, with having the same you know level of, of production value at your haunt. So and, at this do, point in time... Go ahead. Sorry. At, at this point in time... What would you say your catalog is up to volume wise? So we have 180 characters that CFX has created on their own. We have probably about 12 licensed characters. Uh, currently, we're retiring most of our licensed characters. We're going to hold on to the Game of Thrones license for a little bit longer. We just recently retired our Universal Monsters license. Um, in an effort so that way we can start creating more custom characters of our own. Yeah, right now, catalog is 180 characters. Each of those characters can be customized in 10 different ways. So if you really look at it, there's probably a thousand different designs out there for us. Now, at Fear Expo, you normally have a pretty busy booth. I mean, at any trade show, you normally have a pretty, pretty, pretty busy booth because of just the sheer amount of creativity and talents and, and, and I mean, your masks, they, they're a draw. They draw. Do you know approximately how many masks you're going to have on hand uh, at Fear Expo? Yeah. We're going to double our booth size that we had last year at Fear Expo. You know, with it being the first live event, we bought a small booth. So we're going to be bringing a 10 by 20 this year. Um, I'll probably have, I'll have upwards of 160 masks on site. Uh, up on, on the racks, there'll probably be 100 masks on the racks. But I'll, I'll have a, an assortment of masks in reserve. So you're going to have plenty and plenty of stuff for people to walk out of the show with. Um, yes, I will have tons of cash and carry. Um, I will have plenty. If, the way our booth works is if you want to buy a mask, you'll be able to buy that mask. And I have places to put it on there. Actually, I'll probably just sell you the mask out of the the brand new one in the bag and leave the display up there and are your orders still open uh yeah and so right now we're actually we're at a really good time frame we're at a six week turnaround a six to eight week production time frame uh so you have plenty of time to get your your orders in before halloween uh, we are going to do a show special um, i'm looking over at tabby right now and we are totally not prepared to tell you what the show special is uh, we're still trying to decide what that will be uh but we'll make it for sure Oh, that's uh, you got two weeks, man. You got two yeah. weeks to figure that out. <laughs> so you got you got a pretty busy weekend, my friend. You got a class you're teaching. You got you a do. booth, uh, yep. 160 masks that you, people are just gonna walk out the door with. Um, what are you are you doing any of the uh, haunt tour or anything like that this year? Uh, yes. Yeah, so Tabby and I are going to go on the haunt tour. Uh, here's a little inside information. So my very first haunt that the very first pro haunt that I worked at is the Haunted Hotel, uh, but it's the Haunted Hotel San Diego. Uh, the gentlemen that started the Haunted Hotel San Diego are the same gentlemen that started the Haunted Hotel Louisville. Um, and so I actually have some backstage secret footage from before that haunt ever existed. Um, 
that I would like to share with people. So we'll be out there. Uh, I don't think we're going to be on the buses. I think we will be driving ourselves on the, the hunter. Uh, but yeah, we hope to see everyone out there. Yeah, it's really crazy how close. I mean, every haunt's like within a half hour from one yeah. another. It's really yeah. cool. And for us, just right. logisti yeah, logistically, it's easier for us to drive ourselves around. Uh, we just were setting up the booth and everything else like that. We just wanted to make sure we had that leniency. Awesome. Well, Josh, thank you again for your third year of support for Fear Expo. Thank you for being on the show tonight. And thank you for your education. Uh, again, I can't emphasize enough how important it is for people to just get educated on these things, especially when you're putting in, in an investment in, into CFX. Yeah. It's, you know, this is something important and this is something that can make you a lot of money if you take care of it. And, and I really appreciate you. And I really appreciate everything you guys do over there. Not a problem. And let me just try it real quick. I want to make sure everyone knows that my class won't be a commercial for CFX. Uh, we're going to be covering a bunch of other stuff, not including care and maintenance of the masks. I'm going to try and cover uh, repairing a mask. If you get a tear in a mask, we're going to create some blood, some silicone blood for use on props in the mask. Um, and if we have time, we're actually going to cast up some silicone pieces in the class, and I'll teach you guys how to mix up silicone and create some cool stuff. And do you know when your class is? Uh, Saturday at 3 o'clock. Saturday at 3 o'clock. That's a good time slot right there. That's like, that's yeah, like prime I'm, time. I'm hoping it'll be super busy. Um, I will, like I said, I'm going to check with Doug and everyone. We'll, we'll see how, how full my class is, and I'll kind of arrange it from there. I want everyone to know my classes are very interactive and fluid. Um, I'll answer any questions you have. Uh, like, again, I've been in the haunt industry for a long time, and I love to share and talk a whole lot. So hopefully you'll come see me. Perfect. Well, I can't wait to come see you guys again. Uh, you guys are always fun to be around. Um, you're just really good people, and you've got really good products. And I hope everybody just takes everything you have and it's not nailed to the ground. So. Well, you thank you so much. Yeah, and, and I hope I have everything that everyone wants. And uh, yeah, they all go home. They all go home happy. Heck yeah, that'd be awesome. Let's uh, let's make a beeline to CFX and let's just clean them out. Take all the mask with us. Yeah, booth four hundred eight. <laughs> there you go.